Ashford Elementary. Today is Monday, April 20th. This is Jenny Mosier and you're watching episode 14 of the Junior Rebel Express Show. Let's start today's show off with a special PE video just for the little guys from Miss Prentice. Hello Cuba Rushford Rebels. It's Coach Prentice. Are you ready for some activity? Coach Howe and I would like for you guys to try to do something active at least once a day. So I'm going to give you some videos every Tuesday morning that you can use as an idea to try to be active at your house. So today I'm going to teach you about hopscotch. Hopscotch is a really fun game that uses jumping on one foot and jumping on two feet. And you remember you want to use your leg muscles to push and use your arm swing to get up and do some good hopping and landing on one feet and two feet. I'm going to show you how to make hopscotch right in your driveway or maybe in your backyard. And then after that, I'm going to show you some ideas if you have sidewalk chalk. Because I know some people might not have any sidewalk chalk. So I thought I would draw on my driveway with a stick first to show you how hopscotch goes. Are you ready? So I don't have any sidewalk chalk at my house because we can't go to the store. So I went in my backyard and I found this stick and I drew my hopscotch on my driveway. It took a little bit of work and I had to like push really hard, but now it looks great and I can use it to play hopscotch. So here's what it looks like. And you start at one end and you're going to do your hops all the way through. When there's one box, you do one foot. When there's two boxes, you can land on two feet. Remember, use your arm swing. It's gonna give you nice power. And here's how it goes. Pop, 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 pop. And when you get to the top, you can land on two feet and see if you can turn around and go all the way back. So if you do have sidewalk chalk at home, here's a version my daughter came up with. You can start and hop through. And if you look right here, you can hop with two feet, but touch your hand down and then spin. You could do a jump where you turn and then keep going. And you can be creative and make it however you want to make it and whatever you want to add. And now here's my daughter. She's gonna hop through and show you how it goes. Ta-da! Thank you, Miss Prentice. Okay, today's the big day. Today and tomorrow, we are doing iPad and curriculum packet pickup. Today and tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the Cuba Rushford Elementary School parking lot. We're hoping for today for pre-K through second grade families to come and families with students who are in multiple grade levels. Tomorrow, they're looking for third through fifth grade families and anyone who was unable to make it to the Monday's pickup. Anyone who isn't able to make it to either pickup, no worries, we will get these items delivered to you. If you're able, we're asking that you wear a face mask and practice social distancing to the best of your ability. Okay, next let's talk about internet safety. As you know, iPads are going home today or tomorrow. Um, our devices do have a proxy which kind of filters out most of the bad stuff, but it's always a good idea when your students are on the internet to make sure that they're in a common area of the house and never a bad idea to look over their shoulder every once in a while to see what they're up to. Let's talk about free Wi-Fi. If you live in a location without strong internet, here's a list of locations you can go to in order to get free Wi-Fi. Today, we begin our fourth marking period and teachers will be sending out their new content and uploading videos to students. New lessons will be posted on Mondays and Wednesdays by classroom teachers. Classroom teachers will post one math, one ELA, and one either science or social studies lesson every Monday and every Wednesday by 10.30 a.m. These lessons don't need to be completed at 10.30 a.m., but whatever works best for your families. Special area teachers will, and title intervention teachers will post their lessons on Tuesdays. 
Next, we have a message from Ms. Hardiman to her students. She said, Good Monday morning, CRCS students. I hope you had a great weekend and you're ready to get started with classes. Please, if you need any help, text or send an email. Love you all, Ms. Hardman. We expect this week to be a little bumpy with delivering new content virtually. I'm sure it'll take a few weeks to really get it all figured out. If you or your child's having any issues accessing the videos or logging into their account, don't stress, we'll get it all figured out. If you have any tech issues, don't hesitate to reach out to your child's teacher or our director of technology, Mr. Jay Morris. Next, we have a PE challenge for the little bit older kids from Mr. Howe. Good morning, my CR Rebels. Today, we're gonna do an activity where we're working on hand-eye coordination. Um, so this is my daughter, Kate, and she's gonna help me with this. This is an activity where um, we're gonna start at the five gallon buckets. We're gonna use either a paddle a piece of cardboard if you don't have a paddle. I'm also a tennis coach, so you could use a tennis racket if you had it. Just hold it up right next to the head of the racket, not down by the handle. But most people don't have this racket, so we'll just get it out of the way. Um, I made this paddle out of half inch plywood, but if you don't have that capability to do that, then we just got some cardboard we folded it over so that we have cardboard. But we're not gonna use that, we're gonna use the paddle, so we'll get rid of that. Now, if you don't have tennis balls, okay, you can use a sock, just roll it up and make it a ball. Uh, but since we have a regular ball, we are not gonna use the sock, so we'll get rid of that. And now we have a tennis ball. We're gonna put it on the paddle, and we're just going to work on balancing that on the paddle. Here's the game. We will go down, pick up a small water bottle, put it in the bucket. We have three that we have to try to get. So whoever gets the, the water bottles back to the bucket first wins the game. So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. I don't know who won, that was pretty close. Uh, I'll say she won because I dropped the ball off of my paddle at the, at the last second. But that's one thing that you can do just to go out and have a little bit of fun. Challenge somebody. If you don't have anybody that you can do this with, just time yourself and see how long it takes you to do it and see if you can beat it the next time. We'll talk to you later, CRCS. Next, let's talk about our breakfast and lunch pickups. As you know, Monday through Friday from 11 to 1, we have free breakfast and lunch available for pickup. If you've never been to the breakfast or lunch pickup before and you'll be at the school picking up your curriculum packet and iPads today or tomorrow, feel free to try it out for the first time. You don't even need to call ahead, just show up, grab the lunch, and that's it. If you are unable to do a pickup and you want a lunch delivered, call the number and we'll have one ready for you. Also, here are the hotline numbers for you if you need them. Okay, also, we wanna thank Evie Sears who has clearly been working very hard making these face masks for our bus drivers. Evie, how cool is that that you know how to use a sewing machine? Sewing is becoming a bit of a lost art for kids your age, so good for you, girl. Up next is today's tweet of the week. Today's tweet came from Amy Kernman at A. Kernman. Sunday mornings are for Zoom tea parties with Miss Klotz and some friends. I guess it doesn't get much better than that. Tea party with Miss Klotz. That's just great. That's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any news for the show, as always, reach out. Email, Twitter, hashtag MyCRCS. We'll all see what you're up to and we'll feature you on the show. Today is Monday, so our next show will be out on Wednesday.